Good evening, and welcome to the stadium that will host the 2023 Super Bowl, State Farm Stadium in Glendale, Arizona, the home of the NFL's Arizona Cardinals. Tonight it plays host to the VRBO Fiesta Bowl. The number two ranked Michigan Wolverines take on the number three ranked Horn Frogs of Texas Christian University. Earlier today, the Georgia Bulldogs were able to take the win over the Ohio State Buckeyes in the Peach Bowl. Now we will find out the Bulldogs opponent in the national championship. Will it be Michigan or will it be TCU? We won't have to, we won't have to wait much longer to find out as kickoff is just moments away. Teams making their way out from the sidelines were ready to go. Michigan in white, TCU in purple, the Horn Frogs to receive. No miles per hour, the wind of course, since this is a dome with the roof closed. There's the kick and we're underway. Michigan versus TCU in the Fiesta Bowl, the second semifinal of the college football playoff. Earlier today we saw an overtime barn burner between Ohio State and Georgia. That was the Peach Bowl in Atlanta. The Bulldogs able to make it through the national through to the national championship, 11 to three, taking the win over Ohio State. As I said in overtime. Third and one coming up now for TCU. At their own 30, and I believe that's a false start on Michigan. Or no, it's on TCU, sorry. Third and six for TCU, they lose five yards from that. And now fourth down and three, they're pretty much gonna be forced to punt. And the Wolverines getting the ball very, very early in this game. There's the kick. No fair catch. Harrison taken down at the 36. And the Wolverines offensive line about to come out onto the field. Here we go. Kowinski steps back to pass. Finuku with the catch. Might have been an interception if not for him. Second and three on Michigan's own 43 yard line. Hand off to Vinuku. And it's a first down, but just barely for the Wolverines. So yes, Georgia taking the win over Ohio State robbing us of a possible Buckeyes Wolverines National Championship. That would have been incredible, but there was no uh, Argentina Portugal in the Soccer World Cup. There was no India Pakistan final in the Cricket World Cup. Sometimes you can't always get what you want. First down again for the Wolverines. And what is possibly the last play of the first quarter now, Helinski fires it away to Vainuku, who goes down at the 21. And at the end of the first quarter, no score between Michigan and TCU, but that could change very soon. Wolverines at the 21 to begin the second quarter. First and 10. There's the snap, Helinski hands off to Emezi. No gain, no loss on that play. Second and ten coming up. Hand off. Emezi taken down at the 11.
And now the snap. Helinski fires it away. And Kelly catches the pass. Touchdown, Wolverines. He only had the ball for a second, but that second was enough to put Michigan out to a 6-0 lead. Here in the first minute of the second quarter. Extra point, good. And it's 7-0, the Wolverines with the lead here in the second quarter. Two oh eight to play before halftime. Two minute warning will be coming up very soon. Here at the State Farm Stadium in Arizona, as I mentioned, the stadium which will eventually host the Super Bowl in about six, seven weeks. We've got the last NFL game of the regular season on BSN. Or the last BSN game. We're not covering week eighteen. We'll finish the season out with the Vikings and the Packers. No wild card coverage either. We'll pick back up with the divisional round of the playoffs. Again, the Vikings and the Packers this Saturday, December 31st, New Year's Eve. That's going to be 1 p.m. Eastern, 12 p.m. Central, as usual. Two-minute warning kicks in as the first pass of the possession is incomplete here for TCU. Very, very far back on their own 16. Brown looking for his man. Decides to just run with it. Can't really get through the wall all that well. But it's still a gain of three. Third and seven coming up now for the Horned Frogs. They call a timeout. And again, I know that logo is a frog with no horns. And it actually looks nothing like TCU's logo. But in this game, there's no custom logo importing with PNGs or something and I'm not very good at making stuff so you have to make do with what you have and what we have is a red-eyed tree frog first and ten here for TCU at 28 Brown stepping back to pass evading the defenders shot to the back takes him down after a gain of six yards and TCU calling their final timeout of the half. Second and four. Here for the Horned Frogs. 125 to play before halftime. Again, they have no timeouts left. Michigan, their opponents, with all three intact and with a 7 nothing lead. Really no reason to use them. Less than a minute to go now. Brown hands out to Troutman. Quite a leap there. And he gets taken down at the 43. But it will give the Horned Frogs the first down. They've got to go fast if they want to score before halftime. They're still in their own end at the 43. And now 30 seconds to go. Brown steps back to pass. And he's taken down before he can even get past the line of scrimmage. That's a sack. No gain, no loss on that play. And now, what will most likely be the last play of the half. A couple of adjustments being made. Four, three, two, and no play. Michigan 7, TCU 0 at halftime. Six minutes gone. Six minutes to go here in Phoenix, Arizona. At the State Farm Stadium, the home of the Cardinals. The 2022 VRBO Fiesta Bowl. Second half about to get underway. Again, the winner of this face is Georgia. Quite a contest this afternoon. And the local time here in Arizona is about 5.10, 5.12. So very early in the evening. But that comes with the territory of being on the Pacific on the Pacific time zone. Could be earlier. We could be in Hawaii or Alaska. And we are here in Phoenix to determine to find out who will face Georgia 
next weekend. The real game, the national championship, taking place on Monday, January 10th. Our simulation premiering on Saturday, January 8th, two days before, much like the semifinals. Supposed to happen on New Year's Eve, but the simulation that you're watching now, if you're watching the premiere, you know that it's two days before. If you're watching afterwards, hello. If you're watching in 2023, Happy New Year. Kalinski fires it away, and it's just incomplete. Three, four horned frogs stationed in front of the receiver to prevent him from making the catch and hindering Michigan's offense now, second and ten. First semifinal, the Peach Bowl went into overtime. By the looks of it, Michigan will pull it off in regulation, although TCU starting to have some defensive breakthroughs now. Last chance for Michigan to convert in this possession before they'll have to surrender the ball to the Horned Frogs. Or they can go for it, which I wouldn't recommend, but whatever. Helinski running, taken down after six yards. Fourth and four at the 42, and they will punt it away. As the clock keeps ticking here in the third quarter. Hall with the kick. Fair catch is called at the 33 for TCU. Horn Frogs have the ball again. For all we know, this could be their last chance to tie things up. One minute, six seconds to go in the third quarter. Brown gets sacked off the first play. And four minutes, less than four minutes now remaining in the entire game itself. Devontae Robinson with the tackle. Brown fires it away, incomplete. And just like that, it's third and 11. Not looking good for the Horned Frogs at this point. One more chance. The ball is on the third yard. To stave off a fourth down, Brown fires it away, finds his man, and McMinn gets past the line and gets past the 50. TCU converts. First down, Horned Frogs. And now if they snap, it'll be the last play of the quarter. Brown looking for another miracle pass. He goes down with a sack on the 49. Waited too long, started to run. And at the end of the third quarter, Michigan 7, TCU 0. Horn Frogs hoping to tie it up and send us to overtime like we had in the Peach Bowl. Brown hands off to Troutman. Fourth quarter is underway, and it just keeps getting worse for the Horned Frogs. Third and 14. They need another big pass like the one that got them this set of downs. Brown still going, but not able to go far enough. If I were them, I'd go for it. They're gonna kick a few, they're gonna try and kick a field goal. Gonna be a long shot, but uh, here we go. There's the kick, and it runs out of steam before it even gets close to the crossbar. Still 7 0. Michigan getting the ball right back, the turnover on downs. And the two minute warning kicks in. It's looking good for the Wolverines here this evening in Phoenix, Arizona. Glendale, my apologies. And Messi taken down after getting to the 32. TCU calling a timeout. Third and three coming up for Michigan. 1.50 to play in the fourth quarter. And Messi on fourth and one now. TCU calling another, another timeout. And if the Wolverines elect to punt, they'll need to conserve this last one. Michigan will punt, and perhaps 
One more chance for the Texas Christian University Horned Frogs. Dowdy waves fair catch. And now they will start at the 26. Brown in the offensive line, hoping for a miracle. Hand off to Troutman, getting three yards. I mean, it's a, a gain is a gain, but it's not a very good way to start things off. TCU using their last timeout of the game. One minute, 25 seconds to go. One more chance for the Horned Frogs. Brown stepping back, now running, and hugging the ball closely to his chest. Gets to the 35. Third and one for TCU. Less than 60 seconds to go here in the VRBO Fiesta Bowl. Hand off to Troutman, yields a first down, but they don't have any timeouts left. They've gotta go, they've gotta go now. And handoffs like that aren't gonna do anything. Less than 20 seconds, one more chance here for the Horned Frogs. 10 seconds, can't wait too long. And Brown foolishly hands off to Troutman and hands the Michigan Wolverines the victory. So we now know the national championship on January 8th. It'll be the Georgia Bulldogs taking on the Michigan Wolverines. Here at the Beagle Sports Network, we hope our simulations, our predictions are accurate. If you're watching the premiere, we'll find out in two days. But here we go. There you have it. Georgia versus Michigan. Our prediction for the national championship. Five first downs for the Wolverines, four for the Horned Frogs, 90 net yards for Michigan, and 79 for Texas. The Horned Frogs held the ball for 6 minutes and 53 seconds, unable to score throughout that time. Michigan, 5 minutes and 7 seconds with it. They got a touchdown and an extra point after it, giving them the 7 0 win here in the VRBO Fiesta Bowl. Once again, we thank you for watching. We hope to see you tomorrow for the continuation of WWE 2K22 Universe Mode Friday Night SmackDown. But until then, from the State Farm Stadium in Arizona, good night.